Okay, so part of partly we talked about the personalization of the unit. We talked about having the names on yes. each one and the names appearing, and it turned out that those names were actually people that were involved in yes. in making this. So I know that as we're shooting this over on the grass, I've got part of the development and uh, engineering team here watching every movement, and I don't think they'd be out here if it was uh, raining, by the way. Absolutely. <laughs> so, well, this is so a strong I just, team. They'd probably be here if it was yeah, raining. They would. They're, uh, they're amazing. They Absolutely. were very excited, so I just wanted to make sure that we had a chance to see some of these people and yeah. understand that th this is this is a collaborative effort. We, yes. We're very big at Signature Electric on things being a, a team and that yes. people's opinions count and we're interested in the input that they have. And I know that this is exactly the same. And the, the pride that they have in this product is is shared uh, amongst the whole eCamion team. And so if I'm only speaking to you, you're representing these people. Yeah, very, very proud to be here speaking on behalf of the engineering, product development, marketing teams. We have uh, individuals from all backgrounds here. Uh, the expertise is extensive. Uh, the connections to academia and industry are literally global. And so we're very proud here to have our, our members again, uh, Jeff, Sharif, Shetty, Monsoon, Alice and Zane, all part of uh, just a, a subset of all the people that are part of this, uh, this development here that we were talking about. Again, just like I was saying around the other side, a proud Ecamian moment, but a proud Canadian moment. I know that everybody wants to know what these batteries that this team is building, what do they look like, how much space do they take, what kind of, tell us, tell us how you, you ended up with yeah. this shape of, uh, yeah. of uh, we want to know about that. Well, we, we call this our high value system. This is a, a system that can go just about anywhere. It's a standard shipping container, and it's in contrast to another system we have that's a little more uh, lower uh, profile styled. Maybe better for an area that has some height restrictions, like an underground parking garage, maybe an area that styling is really important as well. So we've taken a very much standard sipping container, we branded it, we've added of course the naming on the outside, but the most important thing for this unit is it's accessible for the purpose of learning, development and, and service and support. But we have many different embodiments that we can provide here, all with the same architecture, all the same foundation that provides that high power charging. We have inside, we have really three elements. We have the energy storage, we have the power conversion, and we have the dispensing to the car. So rather than delay, let me just look inside. How's that? I'm excited. Go ahead. And we'll do it together, so huh? Let's, there we let's go. Open up here. This is the foundation. This is the energy storage. And so each one of these modules carry up to 10 kilowatt hours of energy. And what we do with these modules is we connect these in a, what we call it in the, uh, the electrical world, a series configuration to build up the power and energy that's necessary to charge vehicles. So the, what we do is we build this foundational technology for which Ecamion has developed over the last 10 years into a system that can dispense power into cars. But this is where it all starts. This is lithium ion technology, very similar to what we see in electric vehicles today. Mm -hmm. It's uh, called nickel manganese cobalt. Okay. And we have different variants that we have the potential to, to develop, but this is how we've, we've founded our technical development strategy. Remember, this is something that eCamion has developed for 10 years. So the energy storage, while it has the ability to dispense power for cars, also has the ability to support the grid for which they're connected to. So as the increase in vehicles uh, we see over the years uh, increases, so we'll start with, for example, what we call a 40 kilowatt hour battery system. This is a standard 40 kilowatt hour battery that's, that's, the, that's the entry level system, okay. 40 kilowatt hours. We have the ability to triple that just by exchanging the modules. So these modules here, can oh. be removed physically. It's okay. just a, f a physical removal yes. and a replacement with exactly the same looking units on the outside. But the trick is on the inside, they have tripled the amount of energy. Oh, I didn't get that. So as the adoption rates and the usage of electric vehicles increases, we don't need to make the significant investment in infrastructure necessary to support them. We can add energy storage and meet an increasing adoption of electric vehicles in the future. And we do that so that we can support future needs without asking the customer to ask for excessive investments in energy storage they may not realize until several years down the road. Peak demand is a big thing. Peak demand is what has held back uh, the, the charging levels and has made it not economical to, to do charging. If you get much above 50 kilowatts, your peak demand chargers are so excessive that it's, it's such a loser that you, you can't do it. And yes. I think this is what we're really 
maybe the, the real point that we were trying to deal with here? Yes, yeah. What we're doing here is we're trying to run below that threshold. And we're doing that to avoid the requirement that many, uh, any businesses in most jurisdictions pay for that peak demand charge. And so, for example, a single 50 kilowatt charge can trip a facility much like ours here at eCamion you know, the point where the utility and the facility needs to increase their ability to supply. We can fly under that requirement without making that corresponding investment both initially and on an ongoing basis. So the, the opportunity here is to minimize or eliminate that, that peak demand charge. The other point I'll make is with the deployment of energy storage, for some facilities that have the power available, the energy storage can be dual purpose, both for charging and also support the, the grid and all the neighborhood around it. So we have the ability, which a proven ability, to use that energy storage to reverse power flow, much like the way solar panels provide power to the grid. We have the ability with this energy storage to provide the same feature. How soon do we we're going to see one of these giant yellow blocks sitting beside the highway? How far, how far away from that? Well, we actually have uh, EV drivers who have been routinely charging their vehicles. So we're on the, 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 the charging apps today. So customers are using our products today. We ask for a nominal fee to reimburse us for the investment, if anything, just to, to learn the process. And we are deploying these units in a matter of weeks, starting across the Trans-Canada Highway. You'll see these, and you'll see some more, uh, some more information to follow. And I hope they're going to be in high visibility areas because I think part of the adoption of EVs will be the improved visibility of these, whether it's this charger or the level two chargers. Let's start, stop putting them all behind the stores and let's get some out on the street and let's get some out on the corner where people begin to ask questions and wonder what they are. And I think that will help with the adoption. Rick, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Mark. It's a privilege. Okay, so hopefully this has been something you found really interesting. I know I've enjoyed talking with the team here. Uh, if you're looking for more information, more videos like this, you can go to our website. That's one place. It's uh, signatureelectric.ca. We have our own YouTube channel, youtube.com slash signatureelectric. Or you can even give us a call if you're in the city and you want to figure out if this is something that's uh, useful for your location. 416-490-8093. Uh, Thanks very much for joining us.